everybody, Lord Tremendous here, got a better report here for you. 2200 point battle, this is my final prep game for the Rock Wars GT. I, I just, I, I don't need any more. It is what it is, I'm not going to get any better. I only seem to be getting worse, so screw it. This will be the final 2200 point battle prep game that I do until the Rock Wars, which is at this time about... Uh, 10 days away, which is kind of cool. But it's me, Lord Tremendous of the Warriors of Chaos, versus Prince Flem, also of the Warriors of Chaos. And this is uh, one of my opponents that will be at the Rock Wars with me, so pay attention. Assemble the army! This is my list. You've seen it a hundred times, so I'll go quick. I have my Demon Prince, Lord Tremendous. He's got the Mark Zinch, his level 4 wizard, cast armor, charm shield, dragon man gem, other trickster shard, soul feeder, flame grist, scale skin, and the lower metal. My hero choices are my exalted hero, Lady Elizabeth. She's got the Mark Zinch, Halberd, Chaos Steed, VSB, Helm of Many Eyes, Dawnstone, Poisonous Slime. And a little helmet wearing window licker, exalted hero, cast Tastrophe. He's got the Mark Zinch, Demonic Mount, Halberd, Shield, Talisman of Preservation, and Third Eye of Zinch. Why do I give him all these things? I don't know. He doesn't friggin' ever use them. Uh, my core choices are five Chaos Warhounds, the Corn Dogs, a unit of 18 Chaos Warriors, the Reavers of Uthwan with the Mark of Corn, Halberds, Full Command, and Banner Rage, and 15 Forsaken, Corns Forgotten, with the Mark of Corn. My special choice consists of five Chaos Knights, Elizabeth's Honor Guard, with the Mark of Zinch and Sorcelled Weapons, Banner Musician, and the Standard of Discipline. And my rare choice, the one, the only, the Invincible ish. Snuffleupagore, the Mutilith Vortex. <laughs> Gotta love the beast. Uh, my opponent's list will not be showcased here because he's going to be at the Rock Wars. You want to see what it is? Go to the Rock Wars, challenge him to a game. He'll show him to. He'll show it to you afterwards. It'll be great. Here are my spells: four for metal because, well, you know, it's too late to change it. And here are my opponent's spells, four from Nurgle, because, uh, well, it's too late to change it. Here's deployment. Uh, for the most part, I was going to send my useless Exalted Hero and the Beast after the Giant, just simply because I figured if the Exalted Hero is busy getting killed by the Giant, the Beast can finish him off, because I have no faith in that thing whatsoever. Uh, the Knights, actually I placed them poorly. Uh, they were going to go into the flank of the Trolls, I guess, or maybe even the rear, and hope that his, you know, barf attacks don't... You know, roll low. I don't know. I had no flaming attack, so I really had no answer for the trolls other than final transmutation, and that was a crapshoot. Uh, the Demon Prince went into the middle. The hope was to get him into the Juggernauts, uh, maybe Searing Doom the Juggernauts. That would have been great, but I knew his BSV was in there, so I wanted to kill that off uh, either with the Demon Prince or with magic. I really wasn't going to be picky. The Forsaken and the Corn Warriors were sitting in the middle there uh, with the dogs in front of the Corn Warriors because I wanted the dogs to shoot up and try to redirect the Juggernauts. Number one, it would block the trolls, and number two, it would give me an uh, uh, a opportune charge at the uh, Juggernauts, hopefully. So that was really the plan there. Uh, meanwhile, with his Demon Prince in the back and his Marauder Horseman on the right side, I didn't care about the Marauder Horseman. They could charge in whatever they wanted. Uh, as for the, his Nurgle Demon Prince, I was just going to hope to overwhelm him with like Lady Elizabeth or something like that and kill him that way. Here's uh, my opponent's right flank, which consists of his giant. And here's his center, which consists of his trolls with Throg. And right behind that rock there is his Nurgle Demon Prince with wings. And his left flank, which from right to left consists of his Marauder Horsemen and his Skull Crushers with BSB attached. Here's my center, which consists of my Corn Warriors, my Dogs, my Forsaken, and my Demon Prince. And my left flank, which consists of uh, the Exalted Hero of Fail, my Beast, and my Knights with Lady Elizabeth. Here's top of one after movement, and I got to go first, which is actually starting to become a bad sign. When I go first, I get thunder stomped, so I don't even know. Um, I decided to do the horseshoe maneuver. I moved the Forsaken, the Warriors, and the Knights around so that if the Juggernauts charged the dogs and overran, all three units would be able to slam into them, and if the trolls were close enough to charge, then so be it. It was going to happen either way. Uh, meanwhile, the Exalted Hero and the Mutilith make their way towards the Giant because subtlety is not going to be a big part of this game. During the magic phase, the beast, just because, gets a spell off on the giant, and it's the number one spell, so now the giant causes fear or fear or whatever. So, yeah, that was cool. But he did have to take some toughness checks, and he failed one. So, first blood goes to the beast, because the giant's already bleeding a little bit. Not even the giant could stand up to the power of the warp. 
And then I get the big Searing Doom off on his Juggernauts, and I end up killing three of them right off the bat, which leaves one Juggernaut and a BSV guy left. So I got to be honest, I was feeling pretty good about that. One Juggernaut and a BSV should be easy to deal with. So here's a bottom of one after movement, and his giant runs the hell away from the Exalted Hero because apparently he doesn't watch my battle reports. Uh, his trolls come forward, and his Juggernaut and BSB charge the dogs, which was fine. His Demon Prince runs around, probably to get a better angle at one of my units of infantry, or my Demon Prince himself. And his Marauder Horsemen just, I don't know, they, they, they chase butterflies. I, I, I don't think they really had a purpose in this game. Here's a better picture of his BSB and his Juggernaut slamming into my dogs, and well, we know how that's going to go for the dogs. And then uh, during his magic phase, he gets a Miasma of Pestilence off on them. I really didn't care. It was only negative one, and it, it is what it is. It's going to suck regardless. But uh, yeah, he gets it off, but it doesn't. he's not able to get the lore attribute. Over here, he gets regen off on the trolls. Again, I really didn't care all that much. By the time those trolls were going to see combat, super regen was going to be gone anyway. So I let it go. I think he was just trying to roll a 6 on the attribute chart for his demon prince, and he never did. During combat, obviously, they squished the dogs without any problem whatsoever. And their overrun is rather weak. I think he moves forward like 5 inches. It's not very impressive at all. But it was enough for all my warriors and everything to run into him, so I felt pretty good about that. Over here in uh, top of two, as you can see, everything crashes into the Juggernauts. I charged my Demon Prince into the flank, so charge flank and high ground. There's Combat Res 3 already. The Corn Warriors and the Forsaken charge in, so there's a banner and a couple of ranks. So I've already won Combat by like six, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, meanwhile, the Knights stay where they are because there was no reason for them to go in, uh, and I'm worried about the Trolls. The Exalted Hero and the Beast charge a Giant. The Exalted Hero actually makes the charge, but the Beast doesn't, so go figure, huh? But hey, somebody's in the combat with it. It's slowing the stupid Giant down. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Here's a better picture of the Exalted Hero slamming into the flank of the Giant and my Beast failing a charge, but hey, half of them got into it, so next turn the Beast will co complete that charge, and hopefully the Giant will be dead soon. And here's a better picture of pretty much my entire army slamming into one Juggernaut and one BSB. Should be cake. During the magic phase, I'm able to irresistible force through final transmutation. And I don't know. I, I must have ran over a puppy or something on the way to the store because out of 18 dice, I roll one six. And that was, you know, I threw one at Throg. And of course, I didn't roll a six. But I rolled 17 more dice. I roll one six out of all of them. And I turn one troll to gold. That sucked. That really, really sucked. And then I proceed to roll a nine for the miscast. Which actually harmlessly bounces off my ward save, so it wasn't a big deal, but oh, did that suck. Then over here in combat, Sir fails everything that he could possibly ever do. He takes two wounds, and he only puts one on the giant. I charged, I have a flank, and I did a wound. I only win by one, but it doesn't matter because the damn giant's stubborn ten, and he makes his break check, but... Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Just... I cannot wait to get rid of that model. Just shelf of shame. Shelf of shame forever. Then over here in combat, I don't know what happens. My uh, Forsaken end up getting always strikes first, which is nice. Um, my opponent makes more armor saves than is humanly possible. Um, it, it was just ridiculous. The BSB and my Demon Prince get into combat, and not only am I not able to... I think I put like one wound on the BSB, but the Demon Prince takes a wound. Six Forsaken die. Five or six Forsaken die. And so, yeah, when all is said and done, I actually win this combat, but just barely. I was supposed to win by a crap load more than this. Five Forsaken buy it to the one Juggernaut and its, and its mount. And, ugh. Just unbelievable. Just absolutely unbelievable. So, yeah, yeah, he makes his break check, actually, no problem. And now I'm in a terrible, terrible position. So, FML, right? So we go to bottom of two, and yeah, the worst parts of the Bible occur. The damn troll slam into the for, uh, Forsaken, his Nurgle Demon Prince slams into the Warriors, and 
something tells me that this is just going to go awesome. There's a better picture of the end of the game because <laughs> the trolls are going to eat my Forsaken alive and the Demon Prince are going to eat my Corn Warriors alive. My Demon Prince might survive another turn. The way these games have been going for my Warriors, though, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm going through the motions. During his magic phase, he gets Miasma Pestilence off on his Juggernauts again because who the heck cares? And then we go into combat, and yeah, every single Forsaken dies. Uh, three of the Corn Warriors die. I don't do anything to them whatsoever. He makes every single armor and ward save that he has. Every single one. And uh, yeah, yeah, I lose combat by Infinity and Six. And that's what ends up happening, of course. The Forsaken are just obliterated. The Corn Warriors flee 10, 11 inches, not very far. Uh, not even, I'm sorry, that's that's way too high. I think they were ran like 5 inches. They got ran down by the Nurgle Demon Prince. And, uh, of course, my Demon Prince takes another wound uh, for, in combat, and he's not able to do anything in return. He's unbreakable, which is the only reason he's still there. So, yeah. And that, that, that's where everything's at. The, the trolls did overrun, but they didn't overrun very far. They ended up right where they're at in front of the knights. But the knights can't get away. They have no hope against the trolls all by themselves. They have no hope, period. So, whatever. Now I'm just like, yeah, well, this game's over. Time to just go through the motions. <laughs> and, yeah, there, there's a better picture of the demon prince of Nurgle just destroying every single corn warrior I have because whatever. There's a better picture of where the trolls end up after they overrun. They didn't run very far, but maybe it was because of all the irony that they had to go through. I don't know. Then over here, Sir Failure actually shows a little promise. He actually is able to make all of his ward save, armor and ward saves and then uh, put two wounds on the, on the giant. So that was, that was heartening, at least, you know, especially considering the way that most of my army just completely fell apart. So, uh, yeah, I, I uh, just kind of make my peace with, with death here, and I go into top of three. And really the only thing that happens, well, there's a few things that happen. The beast charges into the giant, because we need to finish this guy off before uh, my exalted hero dies. Uh, and Lady Elizabeth runs out of the unit of knights, because there's nothing else she can do. The trolls are going to charge the knights, and they're screwed. So Lady Elizabeth runs over to try to get in the, you know, maybe let the demon prince and her get into a fight she has a slight chance against him nothing nothing major but it's a possibility and uh everything else i have is dead because apparently i suck at this game i don't even know <laughs> there's a better picture of the beast slamming into the giant because i know the exalted heroes on borrowed time during the magic phase given the fact that i really don't have any other spells worth casting right now uh i try i do plague of rust on uh the nurgle demon prince and it goes off and it, he now has a two up armor save which is i i guess good uh all my other magic is dispelled so we go into combat and once again my nobbler made armor just fails me completely i take another wound from his bsb i i think maybe i give the bsb another wound i think he's fine though and yeah, we end up, uh, I lose this combat again, but whatever, they're, they're fine. And then we go over to combat over here, and Sir flubs a lot, flubs, uh, isn't able to do anything. The giant puts every single thump with club attack that he rolls into the uh, exalted hero, which of course, he fails that one critical uh ward save and dies because that's he's his best positions on his back but the beast is able to put the last couple of wounds on the giant because he's the beast and uh he kills the giant and he overruns because what's the point in staying near where the damn knights are about to get killed so here's bottom of three after movement and the demon prince runs over to look at lady elizabeth because why not the trolls slam into the knights because who doesn't love free food and that's about it Here's a better picture of the trolls getting ready to hock a loogie on the knights, and eh, it is what it is. During the magic phase, uh, my opponent gets Stream of Corruption off on Lady Elizabeth. It's a toughness check, and if you fail the toughness check, you take a wound no armor save. So I was like, alright, she's toughness 4, I should be okay, and a roll of 6, which is awesome. So she takes a wound, no armor save, she fails her 6 up ward, so she's half dead, which is par for the course right now. And then during the magic phase, he's able to get Miasma Pestilence off on the Juggernauts again because dispelling magic is for other people, who I don't even know why I bother to take a level 4 in this list anymore. Uh, we go into combat, and I am able to reinforce his uh, regen save. I do... 
Ooh, six, six or seven wounds to these guys, but it doesn't matter because only one gets through. He makes his four-up regens like they're going out of style. Needless to say, I don't make any of my ward saves because, hey, I'm not meant to win anymore. And every single knight dies. The, the trolls are literally getting fat. They're, they're movement two now because of all the extra weight they're carrying from eating all the Forsaken and the knights. So <laughs> it's just, it's embarrassing almost, you know? And then over here, the Demon Prince, whose uh, initiative is now the same as the Exalted Hero. They go Simo, and the Exalted Hero and the Demon Prince kill each other. And I would play the music if I wasn't so happy that my character died, because I'm really starting to root against these guys. <laughs> so, yay, I got the BSB, and it only cost me my Demon Prince, my Corn Warriors, my Forsaken, my Knights half of Lady Elizabeth, and the rest of my pride. So I feel it was a good trade. I really do. So we go over here to top of four, and the two models I have left on the table are seriously trying to get recruited. So Lady Elizabeth runs over to the trolls to ask them if they'd be cool enough to let her join their group, and the beast runs over to talk to the juggernaut and the marauder horseman because, hey, he doesn't mind being a mascot. There's a better picture of Lady Elizabeth slamming into the flank of the trolls, and yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why would you do that? Because I just don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> and during the magic phase, the beast is able to get his spell off on the one remaining juggernaut, and he, my opponent is such a nice guy, he actually decided to fail enough uh, toughness checks to actually kill the final juggernaut, so I actually got some more points. I was feeling pretty good about that, actually. Uh, over here in combat, Lady Elizabeth is has to issue a challenge and Throg has to accept. And Elizabeth actually kills Throg in a challenge, if you can believe it. Uh, I felt pretty good about that. I would have felt better if his Demon Prince was further away, because now the trolls are like leadership four steadfast because I win this combat, but the Demon Prince is in range and they make their break check no problem. On a happy note, though, the gods are bored with the fact that Lady Elizabeth, with one rune remaining, was able to survive and kill Throg. So, uh, yeah, they gave her a reroll. I rolled a seven. So, <laughs> could have been, could have been demonhood. That would have been much better. But instead, it was a reroll, which, yay. So. Here's bottom of four after movement, and as you can see, uh, the Marauder Horsemen run over to the side of the beast because they didn't feel like getting charged by him, and the Nurgle Demon Prince slams into the rear of Lady Elizabeth because it's time for her to die. During his magic phase, he's able to get Curse of the Leper off on himself, raising his toughness two whole points, which was fine because Lady Elizabeth was screwed regardless. Uh, we go into combat, and it's a stalemate. Nothing happens. The Demon Prince flubs. Lady Elizabeth isn't able to wound, because uh, I don't roll any sixes or poison. Uh, I lose this combat by a decent amount, but I actually roll low. I rolled like a two or a three. No, I didn't roll Snake Eyes, but I rolled like a three, and she stayed. So that was pretty good. I don't turn or anything to face, because that would be illegal as heck, but eh, it is what it is. And I, I'm actually impressed with Lady Elizabeth for sticking it out. So, we go to top of five after movement, and the beast just simply turns to face the Marauder Horseman, because I'm going to throw as many dice as I can at his spell, you know, up to six, and try to kill as many Marauder Horsemen as I can, because, hey, if I can get a few more points, I can get a few more points. During the match phase, that's exactly what happens. The beast is able to get uh, his spell off on the on the horseman. It's the number four spell, but they have to take six toughness checks, and he fails four of them, uh, leaving the one remaining Marauder Horseman to take a panic check, which he brilliantly fails, and then flees like ten inches away. So that's awesome. He now needs snakes to to rally that guy, and that's fine with me because he runs off the table. That's like eight more points I get, which is not only that, but it also reaffirms what I was saying about Marauder Horseman being effing useless. Uh, during combat, Lady Elizabeth's luck finally runs out. The Demon Prince hits and wounds all five times. <laughs> he got his bead on her, no problem. And I was not able to roll uh, her armor save in, uh, you know, and, and ward save enough. One wound slips through and Elizabeth dies, which is... The funny part about this is he does, like, one wound got through. Just one out of the five that he did. And I, I tilted her over to take a picture. And my opponent goes, she's got two wounds. I was like, don't you remember the stream of corruption? And he goes, you failed that toughness check? I rolled a six. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. Huh. <laughs> he didn't even realize she was that close to death. So, And needless to say, I do nothing to his uh, demon prince because it's still toughness like seven or something like that right now. And Lady Elizabeth just can't wound because it wasn't meant to be. 
So we go to bottom of five after movement, and my opponent, obviously, he uh, faced his demon prince to face the beast after he killed Lady Elizabeth. And the demon prince charges the beast. The beast flees. The beast doesn't have it at all. He flees, and he actually gets away, and that's where everybody ends up. There's a better picture of the beast fleeing from the demon prince. He just barely got away, though, but he got away, so I feel good about that. Over here in uh, top of six, the beast is able to rally. And he turns to face the Demon Prince. And you know what I just realized? We did that completely wrong. When the Demon Prince failed his charge, he should have just moved forward D6 inches. There's no way he should be over there. Oh well, now now that I've realized that, now we can all we can all mention it. I'm sure somebody put it in the comment section if I didn't say something. But yeah, I just realized that. But anyway, it doesn't really change the outcome. The beast turns and faces the demon prince and because he rallies, and uh, that that's it, because everything else that I have is failure. During the magic phase, the beast is able to get his spell off on the demon prince, and he get, makes the demon prince stupid for the rest of the game, which is cool because there's a tiny, tiny, tiny hope that the demon prince will fail his stupidity check and not be able to charge the beast and kill him. So I was really hoping that was going to happen. It was I was grabbing the straws. I was drowning. And then we go to bottom of six, and as you can see, the beast survives because he was stupid. <laughs> He rolled a 10, and his demon prince was stupid, and he went forward one inch towards the beast, and that's it. So, there it is, guys. One more game where my pride just gets kicked the F down my throat. Oof, did it hurt. Did it hurt. I, I could not believe how well his juggernauts did against the combined charges of my demon prince, my corn warriors, and my forsaken. I could not believe what I saw. But, hey, sometimes you've just got to take that hard L right in the keister, and man, I took it sideways. I don't even know. <laughs> and then the trolls and the demon prince ch counter charging like that, it was just mass hysteria. There was literally nothing else I could do, and uh, eh, it is what it is. Actually, all things considered, though, it was a pretty good showing. No kidding, I didn't get the trolls. No kidding, I wasn't going to get the Demon Prince. But the fact that I got everything but the trolls and the Demon Prince is, is still pretty good. You know, uh, that, that was work with a handicap. But uh, I'll get to the rest of the recap in just a minute, because right now it's time for a quick timeout. Hey guys, I know I've already talked to you about this before, but you should really check these pictures out because they were all painted, including my model, by Unleashed Wargaming. And uh, they have their email right up there at the top of the page, and they've also got it down there. Uh, they got a YouTube channel. He's working on a website. It's not quite ready yet, but yeah, really, if you get a chance, check these guys out. If you're looking for someone to paint your stuff real good, seriously check these guys out go to his uh, send him an email check out his youtube page it's really worth your time it's a phenomenal job it, it you know it's quick it's painless you don't have to worry about painting your stuff and uh, soon i'll be running a model uh that these guys painted for me and i'm very excited about that but check out these pictures give this guy an email check him out on youtube get your models painted by him if you can it's totally worth it and tell him tremendous sent you <laughs> <laughs> yep so once again it's another inglorious defeat for lord tremendous uh i ended up losing my demon prince elizabeth sir failure uh, my warhounds the warriors forsaken and the knights all i had left was the beast my opponent, though, he lost his BSB, his Juggers, his uh, Marauder Horseman, Throg, and his Giant. So it wasn't like uh, his, his victory party was going to be too big. Uh, but I'm in a pretty serious slump right now with this army. And uh, like I said in the last battle report, I'm pretty sure it's because my mind's just not in it. I'm thinking about my new army and, and, you know, what, and stuff like that. And I just... You know, if the karma's not there, the karma's not there. And I just don't have it. You know, I'm not, I'm not generating the right amount of... Uh, 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 luck, I guess, when I'm rolling my dice. I, I guess the army just knows, which uh, is fine, I guess, because they can sit on a damn shelf and think about how they how they acted. Perhaps if they were acting spectacularly, I would play them more. But, eh, whatever. It is what it is. 
But the Juggernaut and the BSB taking the charge from the Demon Prince and the flank, both units of infantry surviving, staying, and eventually killing everything, or, or making it possible for everything to be killed, makes me sick. It literally makes me sick. I'm starting to think that maybe maybe it's not so much the fact that uh, the army knows that I'm getting ready to play an army, a, a new army. I think maybe it's fate just saying, listen, this is me trying to tell you that you're done with the Warriors of Chaos for a while and it's time for you to play the other army. Because everything that I do, everything that I touch with this army turns to just absolute poop. And uh, I'm starting to take the hint. Uh, my Demon Prince armor is made by Nobblers. Uh, blind, deaf Nobblers. Uh, just the way he's failing armor saves and ward saves, like, like there's, like he shouldn't be. Like, mathematically, I think I've caused the singularity to form somewhere in the universe because I've just destroyed math. There's no way. There's no way. Uh, the Exalted Hero of Failure, it looked like he was going to hold on, he put four wounds on the giant, and then he just eats the bunch of wounds from the giant, who was rolling really pitiful, I won't lie to you, I just, so was I. And he dies, uh, luckily the beast was there, able to capitalize on it, uh, just, I guess it's just par for the course for that piece of garbage, so whatever. Defend him if you want, I'm, there's nothing you're going to say that's going to change my mind. Uh... Thank you, Zinch, for the Mutalith. I mean, the Beast was definitely the MVP of this game. He finished off the Giant, he got the Marauders, he finished off the Juggernauts, and then, as the coup de grace, he's able to make the Demon Prince stupid to save his own life. Uh, that was great. That was absolutely phenomenal. And uh, that's why I love the Beast. Absolutely love him. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the last prep game I play for the Rock Wars GT. Uh, number one, I don't want to play any more games of this army until the Rock Wars. I'm looking forward to the Rock Wars, don't get me wrong. That'll be a lot of fun. But uh, I just don't want to play this army anymore. Not at 2,200 points. I'm just... Uh, not even this army. I'm just kind of tired of it. I've been playing the same army for two years, and I think it's starting to catch up to me. And with the streak of just terrible, terrible luck that I've had with them, I'm just... I, I, I need a... a a breath of fresh air, I think. I think it's time for this unit to collect some dust and uh, me, me to start a new army, which I have. Actually, I'd already played a game uh, with, with the new army, so uh, I've got that one all set up and ready to go. It'll be Battle Report 142, and you guys finally get to see what the new army is. I know, some people already know, and thank you for keeping quiet about it, but uh, yeah, next Battle Report, I think it's going to be a shock. Maybe some people are, have expected it, and they're just kind of like, there's no way, there's no way. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I've hinted towards it before, and uh, some people may remember. Some may just guess luckily, but eh, there's no prize. It's just fun. <laughs> so... But that's going to do it for this battle report and my whining. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, feel free to put it in the comment section below, and I will get back to you as quick as I can. But as always, guys, thanks!